Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Niqua So Nice. I'm Shaniqua. If this is your first time tuning in, thanks for stopping by and seeing what I got going on. I hope everyone is having a good day. Had a great Thanksgiving holiday. You know, looking forward to spending some time with your loved ones for the Christmas holiday, making the most of it. The upload that I'm doing on today is about a few items that I thrifted on last week, as well as a couple of items that I picked up, you know, just being a savvy shopper. So I'm looking to share that with you guys on today. Those items that I did purchase was this picture, this purse, this little pouch, and that tote over there. And I have two other items off camera. I couldn't fit everything right here, of course, so I'll be getting to that later. Oh, and before I forget, I want to show my nails. These were the nails, and I'm working behind the camera, guys. I'm still getting acclimated to this thing, so thank you for bearing with me. Those were the nails that I purchased on last week from the Dollar Tree. Um, I used my Kiss Maximum Speed Nail Glue. And I like that glue anyway, like especially when I would do my full sets. I'm still practicing that as well, but it does hold very, very good. But um, yeah, got those. Made sure my hands were clean. Use acetone to get whatever oils out. Use the glue. Put them on yesterday, you know, and I've already washed my hands and stuff like that. So no lifting, no nothing so far. And I think they're super cute. It's a good alternative, like if you... Don't want to polish your nails, don't have time to go and get them done. You can pop these on, look cute for the day or whatever, and do your thing. So again, I hope everyone is doing well. And um, mentioning it once more time, thanks for stopping by, you know, to view my channel out. I'm still getting used to editing and everything like that. Kind of teaching myself, you know, how to go about it. I know there are videos out there, but sometimes I think I work better hands-on, just kind of you know, working my way through it to figure out how stuff works. But enough of me rambling, because <laughs> I will go on. Okay, this little pouch, hopefully it's picking up on the camera, is like a neon paint I got from Goodwill. Um, a lot of things, typically when I would pick up stuff, I don't get it if it looks really, really banged up, you know. And of course, even before the pandemic, anything that I would get, if it could be laundered, even if it could be, but... I'd wash it or sanitize it, spray it down, hand scrub it, whatever, you know, to have it as clean as possible before I use it and still spray it with some kind of disinfectant or I would spray it with, I got this recently, micro band. I had two cans of it. This one is still holding on, so I wouldn't use that. Okay, so I got that. And I got this lovely purse from there. Hopefully you guys can see it and see all the colors that is picking up exact. This purse actually is by the brand Talbox. I'm saying it, saying it correctly. And it's practically brand new, like no wear and tear, nothing like that. You know, they must not have worn it that much or perhaps forgot about it because there's still even the little plastic part wrapped around the zipper on the inside but it's very cute i liked the detail on it and the little bow also reminds me of like um betsy johnson because she tends to have that and i'm certain there are other designers that have that you know with their items but i think it's really cute on camera it probably isn't picking up the bit of the shimmer that's in the material but if it is i'm grateful for that but yeah, the colors in it, if you can see, it is, you got some olive green, you have fuchsia, looks like gray, a maroon color, a light pink, and then you have like a really light yellow, and you also have your black in there. So I think this is a neat bag. I've worn it a few times this week already and received a few compliments on it. So that was a great steal. And this did come from the Goodwill that would weigh up their textiles. This picture back here, I got this from the Goodwill that's more like the retail store. Hopefully, you can see what it says. God is at work in the mess. 
and I can vouch for that totally. Thank them every day. I might not be where I'm supposed to, but I'm grateful for where I'm no longer at. You know, we all, those who share the faith, we're all a work in progress. And I'm grateful for the grace and the mercy that he does show towards me every single day. Shoot, even minutes <laughs> throughout the day. So I'm thankful for that. On to this side, guys. This is the tote that I got another item that's practically it's brand new. You know, a lot of times people may donate things that they haven't worn, don't like, didn't want to, you know, hurt, hurt the person that may have given it to them as a gift. I don't know. I'm just imagining. But I love this tote. It's a very pretty color. It's like a, I would say cinnamon, but it's suede, more than likely man-made fiber, but man-made material, but hey, it's still pretty. And it's reversible. This has a brown, excuse me, a brown color on the inside. And I picked this up because, oops, I just put this over here. It goes nicely with my glow shoes. I bought these, yes, from City Trans for about $26. I thought they were really cute. And they're comfortable on the inside. They have memory foam, and it is by the brand Levi Stratus. They did nice. You can see it has a 501 on the side. Nice sole. I believe it's black. Sometimes things that might be dark, navy blue or something, pick up black. But that's just my eyesight. It's a little crazy. But it does have the denim around the top. And I think it really goes nicely with the suede bag. Like, I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but the colors are spot on. So. I try to keep the aesthetic, but it's not going to work for me, but it's all good. Um, my next two items that I picked up from the Goodwill, the retail one, are these beautiful pillows. Of course, everything was laundered hot. The pillow on the inside, as a matter of fact, I think I almost <laughs> melted it when I took it out of this um, casing. I had it in the dryer too long, but I'm glad all the fluff didn't fly out if it did. I was just going to buy another pillow this size, but if it's not picking up, it's very pretty. It's a very, like a champagne rose pink light, and it has beautiful detail on it. And around the trim, it's kind of like a little floral detail. If I just plop them on top of my bed, I think they're really cute. And these were like 99 cents a piece. So this picture was $3.99. The purse and this and the other tote, those were weighed up. With a couple more items that I got. And I probably spent like about $14. So, you know, hey, if, and over the years I have gone there and picked up some really nice things, you know. So everybody should be on a little thrifting wave. If not, give it a chance, you know. Be safe, of course, but you can find some beautiful items along the way. Now, these are some earrings. Hopefully you can see them. I got them from City Trans when I purchase my shoes and I think they're pretty very pretty hearts with iridescent shimmer to them these earrings if I do I don't know where I'm going at because <laughs> we're still doing like you know conference call with church and stuff like that but if I were to go somewhere and I think the term they would use is gaudy jewelry I would wear those but I'd have my hair slicked back and a pretty ponytail Maybe with a nice collar, blouse, perhaps black or, yeah, maybe black or something real pigmented like this color, you know, and some nice slacks or even a pair of jeans. You know, you can do semi-casual, so that's how I would rock these. And I think these are really gorgeous. I haven't seen them again. Hopefully they're picking up. Okay, a little earring now. Behave for me. Boom. Stay right there. Okay. My last two items are some men's um, joggers. Probably just call them sweatpants, you know. But I got these from City Trends as well. It's pretty khaki color. They're comfortable. They were only $9.99. So 
I wear these with my shoes or, you know, any other type of shoe I would get. But I particularly prefer to wear that with those. And I also picked up these burgundy ones. Same price, $9.99. If I can find a pretty blouse, maybe. I would say button-down shirt. Everything is in a blouse. Um, <laughs> a nice button-down, perhaps plaid, you know, that's kind of tapered in at the waist of, of uh, women's one. I think that would be cute with those colors and some colors that will complement my shoes over there. So, you guys, that is the end of my video. I thank you for tuning in with me. Um, I ask that everyone please remain safe you know, adhere to the guidelines and my condolences, you know, for anyone personally that was affected by this pandemic with the help of the Lord, he will see us through, you know, even though it is a big and a hard pill to swallow, but I do believe he'll see us through it. I hope that everyone will continue to take care. And whenever you get the chance, hit a like for me, subscribe. I will be uploading more videos as time allows. So thank you everyone. Be blessed. Take care.